What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to a bar. I know it's been a very long time since I've done anything with a bar, but uh, let's get back into this. I decided, well, we should take maybe, I should just upload this a little bit more really than I currently have been. So today we have the Atletico Bilbao game. I believe that's where I said I'd last meet you. So that's what I'm currently doing. And let's go into this. So since I last left you off, we actually lost 2-0 to Villarreal. It was a disappointing game at home. Not because we played necessarily bad. I mean, okay, we lost 2-0, but really to me, I would look at this and be say, all right, we lost the game, but only narrowly. I would say the one goal deficit would have been deserved of the of Villarreal. They played better than us. They had a few more chances and they took them. But if it wasn't for Martin Lanning getting sent off and also from the resulting free kick, Giovanni Dos Santos scoring, the goal would have finished 1-0 in my opinion. So, you know, okay, we lost it 2-0, but like I said, it, it, it wasn't like it was a shocking performance and, you know, they could have had more. In fact, they were pretty lucky to get the two they actually got. So, going into today's game against Atletico Bilbao, we find ourselves with only three, four points this season, sitting in 18th place. Atletico Bilbao are currently just one place behind us in 19th, looking for their first win of the season. So, it's going to be a big game today, just based on the first few matches. We're going to be hoping to at least get a draw. I mean, it is away from home against Atletico Bilbao, so that is going to be a tough game, and I would be quite happy with a point here. But, if I'm going to be pushing the team... If I want to be surviving, I'm going to say these games I want to be winning. You know, any team not on form, we need to be beating. We need to be getting a result against. So, going out there today, here is the team. We have Rata in goal, Lucas, Navas, Faye and Casado in the defence. Irasti, uh, de uh, defence midfielder. Mid Centre midfield, we have de uh, Danny Garcia, not Di Garcia, sorry. Danny Garcia and Alvarez. And then the wingers are Torre and Trowski. And then up front we have Angel, and then the bench is there for you to see. So, let's go. I can't remember. Uh, it's been a while since I played this game. It's been a while since, like I said, I've uploaded this. So, I can't actually remember if I've, you know, what changes I've made to the starting eleven since I last saw you. Uh, since you last saw this, so apologies there. They reckon it's a tough one to go with us low on confident and a poor run of form. They reckon Atletico Bilbao will have the beating of us. This is from Torre or Treore. I don't know, really know either way. Um, they reckon our task will be made a lot harder by the absence of Lekic and Kappa. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. I mean, Lekic could have made a difference today if he was maybe available, but I don't necessarily, necessarily agree with the Kappa statement. But let's go. Let's go Bilbao A bar. We kick off and let's hope that we can get a good result today. That will be quite crucial. You know, we want to end this losing streak if we can. Like I said, a draw would be good. But obviously, I want to be pushing the team and going for a win. And 11 minutes in, we give away possession quite deep in their half. We've managed to get the ball back. Trying to build it up. It's gone through to Angel. Oh, it's a good save. And Torres unable to get maybe the sort of second chance in. I think that Torres' chance actually counted as a click opportunity, which I think is a little bit harsh. Near impossible angle. Defender was there as well. But missing an opportunity. And we need to be taking every single one we get as a little team. As a team of our size, we just need to take every opportunity. But bright start from us. That's one one way to look at it. 21 minutes in now and it's Bilbao going through and... Oh man, they miss an opportunity. Thank God for us. I thought they were going to show us how it's done. Show us how a team in trouble can take their chances and change their fortune around as Angels. Yet again, pretty good run inside, but his finish is, finish is not particularly great. Angel out on the, on the right. Lucas with the ball. The Brazilian... Alvarez to Torre to Toroski. Oh, he's at the post. Oh, half chance. Missed. Hitting the post. Unlucky from the team there. Alvarez still piling a lot of pressure on. toroski has been brought down and we give ourselves a free kick. Maybe a chance here. Alvarez is going to be taking it. Ah, oh, it's over the crossbar. Unlucky, but again, encouraging signs from the team. Looking quite threatening going forward. Just that end product needs to be improved a little bit and we should take the lead. And hopefully it will improve. Oh, no. I really like Taroski and it's a dis it's a real shame to see him injured. So you now we've got Niato, who is naturally left footed, but he does play inside forward on the other wing. I'm gonna play him inside forward on the left wing. I mean I know it's not doesn't, doesn't make too much sense because he's left footed and he's cutting in on his right, but I'm gonna do that. Because I like the fact that we have a winger and then we have an inside forward. And uh, I think they one of their players got injured. I don't actually know how Taroski got injured. I don't know if it was a player-inflicted injury or whether he just did it himself. I think he might have done it himself. I don't think his natural fitness is that great. But still nil-nil. Still time is going by. I'm going to wait a little bit longer and then I might issue a new team talk. Just encourage the lads a little bit more. Angel is not done particularly great so far this season as Gomez. Oh, and they get the lead. Atletico Bilbao score from a free kick. And it is Gomez with the goal. 
Ah, oh, them chances we wasted. All right, going to go more controlling. Going to also do a team talk and just calmly encourage them. You know, tell them, you know, try and get them building up and maybe a little bit more. Now with the controlling mentality, here is Erasti to Torre. Torre, ah, oh, unable to find. I think that was uh, the new guy we brought on the left-hand side of the pitch. And wow, thankfully we live to see part of that scare there. Erasti trying to win the ball back. Can't completely win it back, but a poor pass means that we do actually get it back properly. Torre using his pace now. Torre, lightning, quick pace. Unable to produce the finish we need to get the equaliser. Come on, team. Get the Find the back of the net. I mean, the defence are pulling up at least a, a good enough display to keep us still in this. But it's the strikers who are letting us down. I'm going to demand a little bit more. Come on. Ah, oh, no. Time is flying by. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the win. I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference, though. And I think it's going to be another defeat. We're going to have to... Ah, oh, no. That's, this is disappointing. It's not a good run of form, either. And it's not like we're not getting chances. You know, it's not like we are losing badly, losing heavily. It's just these narrow defeats, and the thing is, these narrow defeats can so easily not be defeats, you know, they could easily be wins. This could have been a win, this was a winnable game. I'm going to say, by the chances we watched on the highlights, ignore the match stats, ignore everything. From what we physically saw in the match, we were the team with a better opportunity, more better opportunities. They both, We both had them, but we had more of them, and we probably should have won the game. Don't be harsh on the players, they did play well. You know what, they did play decently well, but not well enough. We can't be like, oh, I played well. We need people pulling in more than that. See, now, when I when I, when will I next meet you back? So we've got Levante. Levante, sorry, not Levante. Levante, who are currently 7th. Then we've got Barcelona. And then we've got Granada. Now, I'm thinking I won't do the Barcelona game. I know I did the Barcelona game last time I did this series. But to me, we're going to lose that game. I think that's inevitable. I mean, it would be nice to, of course, live com them games. And they are big matches because they're playing big teams. But I want to live com the winnable games or the games that we can definitely get results of, um, at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Granada match next. Away from her, at home. Sorry, not away from home. At home. Hopefully we can get a result there. We'll definitely need to pick up some sort of results in these two matches. We can't go on a big run of... Uh, can't go on a big run of form without winning games. You know, we did that last time we were in this save. We went from a very long spell until pretty much January, I think, without winning a game. Then we had our good spell of form, and then we lost it again. We need to make sure we're picking up results or picking up points consistently throughout the season. And to do that, we're going to have to try and, you know, get it somewhere today. Get it somewhere soon. Get a, get a result. I'm actually going to drop Angel. Actually, not going to drop Angel. Uh, it's so disappointing. He's not playing particularly well, but... I don't know if I, I don't know if I can really pull him up pull him up on it. Uh, Criticised last game. He squandered a lot of chances in the last match. There you go, good. He was he he did notice that. Uh, Torre, I'm, I'm not going to bring it up. I know Torre did miss a chance, but I'm not going to bring it up for him yet. Uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, encouraging signs. The last two games, Villarreal and Atletico Bilbao, they've been pretty good, pretty good games, pretty good performances against teams that actually should be doing a lot better than, well, Atletico should be doing a lot better than they currently are, but against two teams that are pretty decent teams, you know, I'd say they should be top half the table come the end of the season. And especially when you consider the Atletico game was actually away from home, it, we looked pretty good. We just need to put, we just need to be a bit more clinical with our chances. So either way, I'll meet you guys back for the Granada match. So until then, peace out.